Hey everybody, how you doing? So I just finished an awesome video with Kimberly Palm. So that's gonna get posted this evening. But in our conversation, we were talking about um, sunscreens. And we're talking about vitamin D3 and how so many of us are deficient in vitamin D, vitamin D3. Now, you can go get a blood test to see where your levels are, but honestly, if you're inquiring about a blood test, you must suspect that you are low in vitamin D. So vitamin D is absorbed through the skin, through the sun. So your skin is your largest living, breathing organ. It's your screen door. It takes in nutrients, takes out toxicity, it houses all this beautiful, blood and flesh of your body. So when you're using chemical sunscreens, they absorb into the skin, so they're more water resistant, right? And then they refract, refract the sun back out. Whereas a natural sunscreen, which is gonna be zinc, titanium dioxide, goes on the skin, it blocks it. But the actual, um, titanium and zinc are natural minerals that are healthy for the skin, super healthy for the skin. They're like food for the skin. They're the minerals from the earth. But you got to be careful where and what products you're buying that you're putting onto your skin because it affects everything. So if you listen to mainstream dermatology, every problem you have with your skin is caused by too much sun. And yeah, you can absolutely have too much sun, and it also depends on where you're located in the equator. Someone like myself who's more fair skin has less melanin, so I can't repel the sun. But then the more melanin that you have, sometimes the less absorption of vitamin D you get because the body is busy repelling the sun because too much sun breaks down the immune system. But yet we need vitamin D, okay? So we need to get at least 15 minutes, at least on your face, on your hands, outside in the fresh air and the sunshine without any chemicals, without any natural SPF. Do not shower for at least an hour, allowing it to circulate through the layers of the skin, getting into the bloodstream, etc. Now, you know, we already know that vitamin D3, you cannot absorb your calcium and phosphate without the element of vitamin D. So you can take all the calcium supplements you want. You can falsely believe that milk and cheese and all this dairy is giving you everything you want. And yeah, it may give you some of that added vitamin D. However, it's got a lot of other issues that come along with that, with the casein, and so on, so there's a lot of dairy allergies, okay? So you can avoid all that by just simply being out in the fresh air and sunshine, which is free. Get 15 minutes of fresh air and sunshine onto that skin the best you can. Pull up your sleeves. I don't care what the weather is, everybody can handle 15 minutes out there, all right? You just can but you're gonna get fatigue. And it actually even affects the respiratory system. So it can create shortness of breath. And there's a whole host of things I don't need to get into. Please duck, duck, go, whatever information you, you, you wanna learn about it. And yes, then take your supplements, but take your D3 with a K. So really get to looking up some things that your body needs that it might not be getting from some of the foods, use a mineral um, sun base. A lot of people got away from that because people wanted to be in the pool all day long. So they wanted to smear a chemical sunscreen all over their kid's body, all over their body instead of reapplying it. So it was really you're bypassing um, healthy nutrients to the skin by bypassing reapplying, just so you know. And it took a very, very long time for anybody to relate the fact that chemical sunscreens are the number one direct destruction 
of the Great Barrier Reefs all over the world. And these barrier reefs way down into our ocean filter, filter everything for everything in the ocean and above. And a lot of that has been killed off because of chemical sunscreens. Now, I believe, you know, I make cosmetic sales and medical aesthetics, right? So I'm an educator when it comes to this stuff and I'm a stickler to get your ass away from the chemical stuff. I'm talking across the board on anything, but while you're learning and doing things, just start with a couple things that you're putting on your skin. Are there synthetic, synthetic fragrances in there? Is there talc? Is there GMO stuff in there? What chemicals are in there? What certifications does this makeup line, this skin line have? Most of you are wearing lipsticks where you're ingesting a lot of that lipstick because it, it seeps into the blood and you're also eating with it. So a lot of these big name companies are not chemical free, cruelty free, some vegan products, okay? So start paying attention to it. The same with your mascara. Start using a more natural mascara. Get a Jane Iredale mascara, all right? And use the conditioner with it. Use the, the primer conditioner with it. And when you're wearing makeup, after you've done this amazing skincare regimen on your skin and you're about to apply your makeup, use a really good natural um, product ingredients called primer. Because what happens now is now you've prepared the skin, okay? Now you've placed the primer, which is your barrier, and now your makeup adheres to the the primer and it, it helps things last longer and you can wear primer by itself if you can get a nice tinted primer with titanium so stay away from products and names that you can't pronounce look on the back of sunscreens but my point of this I was going to say is this so I think it was about 2017 I'm massively selling products you know cruelty free ones and all that I'm educating about um, sunscreen and I think all the major there was a law passed that they, everyone had to stop um, producing um, chemical sunscreens do you think they, they did that right away no they gave them like a five or six year window to change their chemical base to natural yeah so for five more years after it's been banned People are still using it. Now, if you traveled before, then you know when you go to Mexico and Australia and all these places where you go into these parks and you're gonna be scuba diving or snorkeling or whatever, you can't bring that crap in there. They will look in your bag and they will say, sorry, sorry, sorry. Get that out of there. I know because I went two, two years ago and I warned some people that were coming with me, don't bring that chemical sunscreen crap. And some people ignored me and they brought it and they went to the park and they were like, mm, I don't think so. Get rid of that. So if it's hurting our oceans, it's hurting us. Living, breathing, largest organ that you have. So start with self-care, start with taking care of yourself, start with paying attention and really giving love and nurturing to our skin and into our bodies. Learn to be mindful and set intentions of all the things that we're doing. Quit slapping this crap on your kids. Stop now. Stop using Oh, lavender scented this, it's synthetic crapola. It's not a high grade therapeutic essential oil. It's not. Quit burning these candles that have all the synthetic crap that's putting chemicals in your air that not only you're breathing, but everybody out there is breathing. And your babies, your children, the people that you love the most, 
just so you think, oh, this is so nice. Okay. It's not. So take stock, be mindful, pay attention, look at labels. If you have questions, ask me. I'm happy to share with you. Start paying attention to your vitamin D and anything that's robbing you of that. Because all that's going to do is rob you from everything else and you're going to wind up in the medical system and on the medications of the medical system. Watch my words here. And guess who owns all the media? All of them. So what do you think they promote? The sun's bad. Oh my God, it's horrible. No, it's not. We wouldn't exist without it. It's photosensitive. Photosynthesis, synthesis, photosynthesis. <laughs> Let me say that 10 times today. All right, you get the picture. Get out there and get your vitamin D, your vitamin D3. Take the correct supplements. Start paying attention to what you're putting on your skin. Pay attention to what you're buying for makeup or anything else. And start contributing to the earth instead of destroying it through yourself, because that's what you're doing, all right? That's all for me for today.